So I've already recorded this once, but it crashed. So <laughs> I'm kind of just going to go over what I already did. But pretty much, as you saw in the beginning, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the zoom ins and zoom outs. Um, it's pretty simple, kind of just copy and pasting and then kind of just experimenting with it until you get something you like. All right, so once you have your clips ready, pretty much all I have is just the wiggle shake that I did the tutorial on already. I have it set to 200 right now, and that's pretty much just it. Wiggle shake and twixter. Um, so now what you're going to do is scroll down to your effects, find S blur mode curves, and you just want to drag the default on your clip. All right, so once you drag your default on your clip, you just want to copy my settings and name it whatever you want to name it and just remember to click save preset so once you save the preset you pretty much just want to copy what i'm going to do right now so you want to go to animate right next to the z distance and just click on it this little page should pop up you want to click on your first keyframe if you don't know what keyframes are i recommend you go learn the basics first because i don't really feel like covering it Pretty much you just want to click on your first keyframe. I usually like to click down here, but you can just click your arrow key as well. You just want to click three times. One, two, three. And that will bring it three keyframes forward or out. It doesn't matter. You want to change this to 0 0.800. Go back to your first one and change it to 0 0.300. Then you're going to go all the way to the end and change it to 0 0.300 as well. And then go three keyframes backwards. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And you want to make that 1000. And you want to right click this with your mouse. And you want to make it slow. Right click the last one, make it fast. Right click this one, make it fast. And then make this one fast as well. And then you should have something like this. So now that you've done that, you should have this saved already and you just want to go and drag it onto the rest of your clips, but we'll go on to the next clip for this one. And for this one, you want to change the Z distance to 1.3. Go to your first key, first key frame, sorry. You want to go forward three, one, two, three. I'm going to double check that. One, two, three. You want to make that a thousand. Sorry, I went forward a little bit. So one, two, three, thousand. So one thousand three hundred, a thousand. Then go all the way to the end. Make that one thousand three hundred again. Go three keyframes back. One, two, three. You just want to make this one eight hundred now. Then again, it's going to be slow, fast, fast and fast personally this is what works for me fast fast slow and then fast so I mean you can literally memorize that so just make sure that there's only four keyframes these two are fast this one's slow and that one's fast and then kind of just remember that it's always three now it doesn't always have to be three you could just make your own settings but if you want like scales like mine I mean just copy my settings right so you should have something like this so you can just copy and paste and just rinse and repeat throughout the entire edit and if you just kind of just keep copying it it'll pretty much just look like this obviously you have different scenes um, and then eventually what I like to do is you can kind of just mix it up a bit and you'll end up having something like this You can also do a double zoom out. This is a double zoom in. And I'll teach you how to do this one in a second. So pretty much these first three are the same. So this is literally the exact same as this one. But what you're gonna do is change up this these last two. So pretty much it's the same thing. Zoom out, zoom in. If you wanna see that one. So for this first clip, same thing we did. Second clip, same thing. And then this one is the same thing as the first one. Now what you're gonna change is these last two. So you're gonna go with this one. It's the same thing as this one in the beginning. 
So for example, what I mean by that is this is that thousand to 300 and then it's gonna be from a zoom out. But the thing, the only thing you're gonna change is at the very end, instead of doing a zoom out, so 1,300 to 1,000, you're gonna go down to 800 and then you're gonna go down to 300. And it's the same thing, three keyframes and then fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, right? So fast, fast, slow, fast. And then here, you're gonna do the same exact thing as the other one. So 1,300 to 1,000, and then 800 to 300. And then you could just have like constantly zooming in if you want to. Um, I'll show you an example actually. So this would be like four zoom ins in a row. Doesn't really matter. You can always just mix it up, mix and match. Uh, you also can do like double zoom outs um, pretty much for that one. What you would do is just at the vi instead of zooming in, so it'll go out. Here, I'll just show you an example actually. All right, before I show you uh, dub double zoom out, there's actually something else I wanna explain. So for the most part, I don't really like to change keyframes or these little fast and slows because it kind of messes with how it, like, it flows. What you can change is like how deep it zooms in. So you could do like a 100 out to 800. or pretty much just make it like a little more aggressive in the beginning. It also gives you a slight bit more blur. You kind of just mess around till you like a number. I usually don't go higher than 500 though because then you just don't really get an effect in. Like it's a really slow zoom out, you know? Um, I usually like to keep it around 300 or 100. It's either one of those two. It depends what type of edit I'm making. You also can mess with this number. So for example, if I zoom it out to 900, there'll be less of like a, you see how like it's a lot faster to show the clip. So if I like put it at 700, it's a lot slower as well so you kind of just mess around so you get something that you like uh, you shouldn't really mess with this one because it brings it back to normal and this last keyframe is the same thing you can bring it down as low as you want i wouldn't go higher than i think it's 1366 if i'm not mistaken the reason is because if you go too high you'll end up seeing like these things and then it kind of just doesn't look good anymore. As you can see. Um, yeah, so I, I probably just wouldn't go higher than 1,300. Um, and then as far as this goes, I'd keep that at 1,000. And you can just mess with this, actually. So if it's zoomed in too much, you can always just put it at whatever number you want. Just remember that if your clip is really long, the number is short. It's gonna have less of an effect. It's not as smooth as you can see. So that's why I like to keep this zoomed in a lot, especially for longer clips, because it keeps it with like a constant movement. It's like constantly zooming in. And you can just mess around with those two numbers. And then eventually you'll get something like this. So now I'm going to show you like a double zoom out if you ever want to try that. Um, I already showed you a double zoom in right here. So let me just get that ready. So pretty much this is like a final product of just knowing how to do this. So pretty much like I said, it's just mixing, matching and knowing how to do it. So I already showed you how to do the beginning and then the double zoom in. So I'm gonna show you how to do the double zoom out real quick. It's pretty much what it'll look like. It's pretty much the same thing, um, but just in case, I'll show you. So for this first clip, just a regular clip, like I said before. So 1,300 to 1,000, and then 800 obviously, and then 1,300. But these last two clips are the ones that you mess with. So obviously this stays the same, but what you're gonna change is kind of just the opposite of the other one. So for the other one, it was out and then we did in. 
for this one it's in and then we go out so we're just changing the last clip so from 800 to a thousand to a thousand three hundred and then this next clip is in to out the same numbers and then only thing I'd probably change is just the number uh, what is it the Z distance just to give it a better effect and then pretty much you should come out with something like this and that's pretty much it that's literally how I do my zoom ins or scales whatever you want to call them depending how long your clip is and stuff like that also depends on how you do them I use these scales literally for all my edits these are literally my type of zoom ins um, but pretty much that's it um, it's kind of simple kind of not you kind of just need to experiment with it yourself and just see what you like um, I might do maybe like some shakes some tutorial on some shakes later but um, yeah pretty much is it <laughs> Let me know if this helped any, if you have any questions, I'll try to like answer them in the comment section or on like the next tutorial or something. Hopefully this helps. I mean, I think they're pretty smooth. I use them for like everything. So 